welcome back to my channel. So glad you could make it. I so appreciate when you drop in and visit with me. We are back in the kitchen. We're doing a little meal prep to get us going for the week. Super simple, super easy. We're doing breakfast and we're doing lunch and supper. I have a great quinoa stir, not stir fry like a fried rice, but with quinoa, awesome recipe. We're gonna do some potatoes. We're gonna do a baked oatmeal for breakfast. So if that interests you, stick with me. We're gonna get into the kitchen and we're gonna get cooking. Oh, let me introduce myself. My name is Vicki Lynn. I follow a plant-based diet and I'm on a journey to get healthy, lose weight, and lower my cholesterol and move every day. And if that interests you, stick around. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you know every time one of my videos goes up. With every meal prep, we want to get things going depending on what takes the longest, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my handy dandy um, Instant Pot here and I'm going to do some potatoes, just some russet potatoes. That'll do me for um, hash browns and for fries or any other um, item I want to do. I am trying to keep it really simple and I, I am going gluten free. Um, I do just feel way better when I'm gluten free and I had the last couple of weeks I wasn't and I haven't been feeling all that great. So. In goes the potatoes, super simple. And I'm just doing a few for now, about 10. We're gonna seal it. I'm gonna do them for about 13 minutes. Just depends on the size. These ones are a little bit larger and we're all set, that's gonna go. Now we can just forget that. The next thing I wanna get going on is a cheese sauce. And if you've been here before, you know I make this probably every week. So I'll leave the recipe card up here. And again, change it and revise it because that's what I do. Every week I change some of the spices that I put in it. I just, you can revamp it and this is a great cheese sauce. You could add salsa to it, um, you know, jalapeno peppers, jalapeno uh, pickling juice. Again, look in your cupboard and just like zazz it up Make the basic recipe first and then just add it up from there. Okay, so for that, we're going to need potatoes and carrots and we're gonna to need to get them boiling. So well, let's chop away. So I have my pot with some water in it. And again, I'm just gonna cook these until they're tender. We have a delicious cheese sauce that's perfect for making nachos um, on top of potatoes, making, I love making stuff potatoes with broccoli and I actually have some broccoli cooked already in my fridge so I'm going to use that and maybe do some baked potatoes and stuff them with the cheese sauce and broccoli sounds so good and you know I always have potatoes if you've been here before I am the potato queen I need to get a t-shirt potatoes sit the best with me potatoes and quinoa rice is a little iffy and pasta no matter what kind just doesn't make me feel 100%. So we have our pot, we're gonna put this to boil and you're gonna be reserving some of your boiling water so once it's done, don't drain it. I'll show you what to do. Now we're just going to get our ingredients together for our fried quinoa. And again, I make big batches and freeze it. That's a time saving. Number one thing that I love to do is make extra, more than I need and then throw half of it in the freezer. It's perfect. Then whenever you want anything, you can just pull it out of the freezer and you're good to go. So first I'm going to do some celery. And for this kind of fried quinoa, you could do, again, any vegetables that you want. It's totally up to you. We're just keeping this simple. I'm just going to do some peppers and some celery and some onions and a few mushrooms, I think. I'm gonna put these in one container along with the onion. And because it's a small amount, I think I'm just going to do half an onion. I'm gonna keep that for my soup stock. And again, if you've been around or you've watched a few of my videos, you know that I keep all my veggie scraps and I freeze them. 
And when I need soup stock, ta-da. I actually have a recipe over on my website. And that's just vickylynn.com. It's right below. You can find it. That's such a great way, especially now that fall is coming. I'm gonna do a red pepper. These I'm going to keep for snacking. Just going to chop up our mushrooms, just in slices, nice and thin. And I might chop them in half, actually. There. All right, we're just going to put those aside. All set to start our quinoa. Add a little bit of water, and we want to saute these till they're translucent three or four minutes. Now we're gonna add in our red peppers and our mushrooms. And we're gonna let those brown for about three minutes. All right, so now our vegetables have browned. And the last step is just to add in our quinoa. Again, mine's already pre-cooked. That makes it so simple. This would be a great weekday meal. This is budget friendly. Just use whatever vegetables you have. You could put broccoli in this. Again, it's like a fried rice. You could put whatever you want. Oh, you know what? Green beans, uh, green peas would be awesome in this. So I'm going to add in a little bit. I'm using tamari. I'm using a gluten free. But you could use soy sauce or tamari, whatever you want. So I am going to just add some frozen peas to this. We'll cook in no time. Just going to give it a nice color. I'm just going to put a lid on this just to steam the peas a little bit. Now for breakfast, it's fall, so it's got to be something pumpkin, right? <laughs> Make sure your oven's preheated to 350. I also have the oven preheating because I'm actually going to roast some cauliflower. Um, just wanted to have that done for the week and then I can add whatever flavorings to that I want like barbecue sauce or make a make them buffalo cauliflower wings. So grab a prepared pan, eight by eight, nine by 13. Those will all work for you. It depends on how thick you want your baked oatmeal and a big bowl. Grab your oats. So I'm using rolled oats and I actually use the gluten-free ones from Costco. Um, I just put them in this container. I reuse this container just for my kitchen and then I have like back stock where all the big bags are. So we're gonna use two cups. We're also gonna use baking powder. That's going to help to leaven it and puff it up a little bit. We're gonna need one teaspoon. And don't worry, the recipe will be down below. And then of course we need pumpkin spice. I actually have a recipe, or I will have a recipe up on my website for this. I just again, make my own and then reuse this container. It just makes it much easier trying to, you know, save on the plastic. Next, we're gonna add in our wet ingredients and we're going to need a tablespoon of chia seeds. That's gonna kind of work like our egg and bind everything. We're gonna need a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup. Depends on how sweet you like your, I don't like my super sweet, so I'm just doing a quarter of a cup but you could do a third of a cup of maple syrup. And of course, real maple syrup, not the other stuff. Uh, pumpkin puree. And again, pumpkin puree, we don't, I don't mean the pumpkin pie filling, it's the actual just pumpkin. Our milk, we're using almond milk. Use whatever plant-based milk that you have. Super simple. And give this a nice stir. Now, if you weren't doing it for maximum weight loss, you could add some nuts in here. I'm just trying to watch that part right now. I'm just trying to tune in a little bit. And then we're just gonna take our pan. 
I don't grease mine. You can grease yours. Um, if it's a non-stick, even better. We're just going to pour this in. I'm going to add a couple of pecans to the top. Just, again, it's going to be for the pictures, to be honest. I just want it to look really nice. Now, in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Depending on your oven, everybody's oven is different. So I'm going to put these in. Middle wrap. And then I'm going to get, clean up a little bit and get the cauliflower in also so they can both roast at the same time. We're just going to get our cauliflower going. It's just, I'm going to cut a few in half. And I'm going to keep it really simple with just um, garlic powder and onion powder. That way I can pick and choose what I want to do with it for the rest of the week. I can add more flavor to it and eat it differently. I'll be good. Oh, and a little bit of smoked paprika. What the heck? I love cauliflower. Like one of them, what, again, I like all vegetables. I don't think there's any vegetables I don't like. But cauliflower is so good for you. I do try to do a lot of coniferous veggies for all the benefits. So we're just gonna put that on a sheet pan, spread them out so they have room. Those are going to go in the oven with the pumpkin spice oatmeal. We'll be all set. So here's what we made today and what we're eating this week. We have our quinoa fry, a beautiful pumpkin spice baked oatmeal, some of our roasted cauliflower. We have our cheese sauce up here and our potatoes. We are set for the week. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help with that algorithm going on. And I appreciate you all for watching. And don't forget, I have a surprise for you. I have a free ebook. That's right, go to my website and order your free ebook. It's all about prepping, getting ready, shopping, and a few of my favorite recipes are in there. And it's all for yours for free. So don't forget, and then we'll see you in the next one.